Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Ritu and Ife Oluwa Oshankaya. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Yes, good. <laughs> good morning. Mm. Good, good. All right, so we start with um, the performance from Tiwa Savage as she performs her new single, 49.99, Under Obalinde Bridge. Um, the performance follows the promotion of, of her lead single of her forthcoming album, Under Universal Music Group. So, well, I've received clips um, around social media, and um, I think the interesting person for me has to be Kemi <laughs> <laughs> When I saw her doing the soapy dance with her, she wore one of the costumes from mm. Tiwa's um, video, mm. where she, I think it's the blue the long uniform, gown, and yeah. then the um, Kiko hairstyle. Mm. And it looked really good, yeah. So, I'm thinking, was she really invited? Or, I mean, she has to be invited I for her to have... I think she was invited because she was the... wearing, like, a press tag or mm -hmm. something, yeah. Wow. Okay. It's interesting to see, though. Yeah, I'm happy that Tiwa brought it back home. She mm. has been away from the country, going from one place to another to promote a new single. And I'm happy that she brought it back home to Lagos here. Yeah, and prom and people, of course, we love our home. People came out to turn up and it was a huge crowd. And I'm happy for her. She's doing well. She's doing great. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure if that... The song is nice. I think it's just the video that is really, really yeah, nice. Awesome. For me, the song is just... There. It's just so the, the delivery of the video. Yeah, the delivery of the video just yeah. make it from like fifty to hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like this song because um forty nine ninety nine is just um a reference to fella Nicola Pokuti who spoke about the typical Mulu boss where you have ninety nine people sitting and forty nine people standing. No, forty nine people Sorry, sitting. Sorry, forty nine people sitting standing. and nineteen. Are you sure about that? Yep. All right, so 49 people 49 sitting. 49 city, 99 standing, suffering, and no, smiling. No, she didn't sing it like that. I wish. No, so like Bella. Bella. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Never. <laughs> I don't know where you are, but continue. <laughs> Back to where I was, because you took me away. Was that that was away? exactly where you yeah. were. That's for last song. Yeah, you were mm -hmm. there. Tell me again. No. <laughs> no it again, it again, it's, no. A, it's 49 sitting, 99 nice standing. Thing. Yeah. So 99 standing and 49 sitting. Mm -hmm. So I like the reference to Fela Nicola Kokuti because everything keeps showing the grades right now. And I'm I'm expecting my hard work from um with Fela in it and it's so oh, yes, that's yeah, not that. I'm waiting for that. And um I like the fact that um this was done under the Obani Day Bridge because it's different because um most people will probably do a listening party mm. and then it will be limited to but if you were just this. passing, if this is a proper Mudbomu <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a free show yeah, for it everybody. Really, it's really easy to gather that huge crowd in mm -hmm. Obani Day. I mean, TYZM. Yeah. Eh? Eh? Yeah, everybody is there. And yeah. trust me, I, this so. song, people, yeah. they will buy it. You mm -hmm. see all those um, people, mm -hmm. they will buy it. I need to, we need to actually comment the level of publicity that has gone into this, this single, particular single. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the more like maybe this is the first time that TY is coming out. I'm telling you. From the you. billboards to the road. I mean, it's just massive. And Universal Music is really doing great. You know, it's like you're moving from here to here. You can see And then the one thing that was um, yeah. also obvious was that it was raining. Under the heavy downpour, people were still out there to support the Queen. So it just makes you know that Tiwa Savage is very relevant. So this is to all the female artists out there, you know, going against Tiwa. Look, mm. you cannot stop God's plan. Do you mm, understand? God's all. plan is always God's plan. You can't stop it. She will keep shining. Do you understand? Like, she keeps doing things differently. We saw her with, um, what's it called, Naomi Campbell. We saw her with Didi. We've seen her with Jay-Z. We've seen her with Beyonce. We've seen her with almost everybody. And like you said during the last show, that it's good to have a best friend who would influence you mm. in a positive way. Because there's no point having friends that are all negative oh, you energy that one, just... and all of that. Yeah, you need mm. friends that will make positive effects on your life. Give you the and, right connect. Yeah, give you the right connect. And I'm just so glad that she's doing something different that she always does. And she, it was under the Obali Day Bridge. Like, who couldn't have been there? Like, I could have been mm. passing out pack. I had to what the pack <laughs> But yeah, we'll go more, yeah. And, and, and let me just add to what if I said. Like, <laughs> like you said, all these other female celebrities out there trying to compete with her. The, like, you can do what you want to do. If your craft is okay, there's nothing like somebody stopping anybody. If I have sure. a show, 
if I want to have a show, and I know that you will pull the crowd, I would invite you. But if you can't pull the crowd, that's what I will pull for me. I want to make my own money. Do you understand? I will go for the person that will pull the crowd at the moment. So it's not like she's stopping anybody or she's doing mm. anything. It, it's, it's, um, I'm going to call anybody that the crowd wants to listen to mm. at that point. I'm not going to come anybody. and look for you. Anybody. We no want to suggest anybody. We no like to party. Hey, hey, now comes something. Uh, nah. nah. Let's go to this one. Bad energy, stay, stay far away. away. Hey. Okay, so I don't know how to are talking about you are to <laughs> motivational speaking to other women, but it's all good. Yeah, it's you necessary. are just desiring to aspire to desire so, to aspire, aspire to perspire mm. and you know the you know some type okay. of ubiti. Okay. You can is concerned to desire to grab the advice. I hope. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next story. Woman who paid for R. Kelly's bond wants her money back. Hmm. In February 2019, R. Kelly became a free man after receiving help from Valencia Love, a resident of Nebu okay. neighboring <laughs> Chicago suburb. Uh, Miss Love was detailed as a friend in documents that were released after the singer posted bail. She's now wanting to get the money back after the singer was indicted. She puts up $100,000 for R. Kelly's bond on Cook County sexual abuse charges. Miss Love was at the time criticized online and businesses that she owned were attacked by Kelly's protesters. Tuesday, a judge ruled that she would not receive her money back immediately with the possibility of not at all. <clears throat> so... <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> if she's going to get her money, I think it will be at the end of R. Kelly's case, the which is not even of not getting at all. all. Mm. No, but I read that even if she's going to get the money, it's going no. to be at the end of the R. Kelly's case, which is probably in years. We don't even need time. to wait to the end of the case. Um, R. Kelly has been indicted, like he's been found guilty by the federal. And you have him in custody. And they have him, the FBI found him mm. guilty and he was there in the orange jumpsuit and we know what mm. that means. The moment you're in that jumpsuit, it just means that there's no hope anymore. Let's be honest about it because at the end of the day, we've seen people in that jumpsuit that don't get out or spend a little time, even if they, but they must spend a little time. Mm. And then this is a man that was coughed and wearing the orange jumpsuit. So there's no hope, to be honest. Like, I think she just wasted the money thinking that Al Kelly was innocent. But I don't think, like we always see on the show, there's no smoke without fire, right? Mm -hmm. So everything, all those women can't just be coming out to say things about Al Kelly. And um, you know, some true. people just and really believe in you. <laughs> these are consistent stories, do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's not like one person will say, no, Al Kelly beats me. And then one will come say, Al Kelly rapes me. And then one will come say, Al Kelly does child pornography. And then one will come say, Al Kelly does this. Like, they're all consistent talking about the child pornography, talking about the oldness, whole, whole stage and all of that. So it's been a consistent story from beginning to the end. So there's no way anybody can take away some form of, some guilt mm. in a shape or form from Al mm. Kelly. So I think he's going to serve jail time. I think he deserves to serve jail time. Do you understand? Mm. And um, I hope she doesn't get the money back. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> because why? I remember when Dead. this news broke in February, we talked about She's it. She's just been a time, good friend. Right? Yeah, <laughs> and um, I remember um, we had opinions on this table where we were like, okay, it's a case of um, people saying this person is bad and you have seen their good part. Yeah, and you just want she's to just been a hold good on friend. to that yeah. good part with that hope that, okay, this might not be true. So I know, I think case, she's even saying she, wa case, she wants her money hold back. On, hold on, she's saying, hold on. If I do that for a friend, feeling that, okay, I've seen their good part, yeah. mm. I'll not come and ask for my money back. I'll just be disappointed. That you okay, that's what, what does the law say about um, bail and bonds? I mean, it's something that they are not supposed to keep the, at least not, everything. The reason why she's she's the reason why she wants her money back now. What does the law say about jail and bond? Um, well, that's what I, that was, I asked the question exactly. until I go back to check. But I know it's not something that's supposed to be let go entirely. Really? Yes. Are you sure about yes. that? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. Like for me, she's not even. I think she she wants the money back just so that um, they will use it for R. Kelly's lawyers. Now? Yeah, now. It's not like she really wants the money back, wants the money back. Because she's saying that, okay, fine, I, I paid that money just mm -hmm. so he will get out of jail on mm -hmm. bail. And now he's been arrested without, like, the, you, can't, you can't get him out on bail. So mm -hmm. just return my money back to me. And then, so his lawyers will get it and he will cover 
for their um, fees and all of that. It's not like she wants the money f back to herself and all. She just does not want to give the money back. She's still being supportive, not like she's been and backing out and all. She's still being, because she was, she, um, I read in one of the interview and then she was saying something like, she's not supporting a pedophile, but she's supporting a friend because mm -hmm. he has not been found guilty, guilty. yet. Okay. That until then, that's when she can now decide that, okay, he's a he's pedophile a and I'm backing out. But now, if you're putting him behind bars, like, without bill, just return my money back to me. All right. And then I'll we'll use it for how, his legal fee. <laughs> you see that the, the 100,000 naira will go, but it's time for a quick break. When we come back, we'll have more stories. That's 100,000 naira. 100,000 dollars. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. I'm sorry, they look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is from mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, Nigerian police should um, copy Hong Kong police, and this is coming from Don Jazzy. He made this known via his official Twitter page as he advised the Nigerian police of um, police officers to avoid killing protesters by taking a cue from the Hong Kong police um, people. He said, and I quote, the Nigerian police force should take its cue from the Hong Kong police. They only fire water cannons and tear gas at protesters, even though it still an infringement on people's rights to protest in a democratic climate. It's better than killing unarmed citizens extrajudicially. Hashtag voice of the door. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there, there was a recent one that uh, sparked um, serious rage like where um, students, students were protesting. killed. Yeah. Right, and uh, this is something that happens over and over again anytime there's any form of protest in Nigeria. It's mm. like, don't try, don't start. And I'm wondering why is it like that? You come out to stop a protest and you're already um, getting ready to shoot. shoot. They are not the criminals. Mm. For them to be on the road carrying placard, there is a reason. Mm. It's left for you to come out, listen, Say okay, oh, we're going to get this You're sorted out of some. Just to have a conversation, and not let you know. It and violent. I don't know, but it's it's really scary, and which is why I, I know if it has talked about the fear that we think hold us back in this part of the world, and it's more like we cannot stand up to say we want to stand for something until you're ready to die. Mm. So, and it's a case of you knowing that you might actually go out to protest, and that will be your last because. Your police is supposed to be your friend, but that's not the case right here. So I'm glad that he's talking about this, and I hope that um, more influential people will talk about it too, and hopefully the Nigerian police force will listen. I mean, more um, a lot of influential people have been talking about it. Every, even on this table, we've always been talking about it and calling for the police force reform. Think something needs to be done immediately because it's really getting out of end. Anytime people feel people are gathering together to demand for something, peacefully i mean it's not like they are coming out to break things or anything even if they are breaking things you don't still have the right to shoot them mm. you can only control the crowd if, if you want to protest sometimes they even say go to the police and tell them that you guys want to come out for a peaceful protest so they'll be there to control the crowd you know there are some people that are ready to take um, opportunity and once they see people gathering demanding for something they just want to cause trouble that's why sometimes they will advise you to go to the police so they'll be there to protect you as you're protesting and demanding for whatever you want i like that don is speaking out on this and i want the police um force to just listen to our cries i've been crying since forever mm. and do something about it because we keep losing young people every day and it's not fair to anybody mm. it's not fair to anybody mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. big shout out to john jazzy for putting this one out there because um, at the end of the day you have to um realize that look all lives matter 
No, we're not talking about black lives because we're all black in this part of the world, right? So all lives matter. Whether you're a politician, whether you're well-to-do, whether you're wealthy, whether you're rich, whether you're famous, whether you're a celebrity, whether you're anybody, whether you're a nobody, do you understand? All lives matter. And the moment you're able to pick up a gun and then you shoot someone down, you gun somebody down, definitely something, there's a lot of karma. It would always come back around one way or another. So I want um, the I police. I don't think karma really exists, anyways. But continue. <laughs> yeah, continue. I don't even know where to continue from. <laughs> that is just like out of this world by saying karma. It's exist. not out of the world. It's just what I think. It's what you think. And I think there are other people there out there that think that karma does not exist. Really? Yep. Okay. I hope they come out to support you. But uh, like I was saying, um, there's the law of karma. If you kill by the sword, you die by the sword. If you kill by the gun, you die by the gun. If you kill by the sniper, you die by the sniper. Okay. You get by the <laughs> okay. double K. Like real double, double K. K. Double K. Double K. Mm. What's double K? Mm. <laughs> Enlighten me, all. you know. When you're texting somebody and then person saying something that you know that it's not just it, and just like K K. Oh, it's not just it. Okay, I didn't even know it wasn't just it. But back to what I was saying, right? There's the law of karma. Mm. In as much as we want to focus on the reformation of the um, police force and all the forces in general, you also have to look at it from the human point of view because these police officers, they're human. And if they keep doing these things and they think that, oh, because I hold a gun, I have the right to do anything I want, then think again. The law of karma does exist. And for those that don't believe in it, I hope karma doesn't come your way. That's just all I have for you. Is it telling you why? No, I it's said, telling, no, no, it's I said, telling no, me no, now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. And, I'm, and I'm not done. Oh, and I no. like what okay. um, Don Jazzy said when he said that um, the Nigerian police force should take a cue from Hong okay. Kong. Yes, because um, we saw the Shore protest, even mm -hmm. though it was um, called the revolution, which is what they had a problem with. And they felt that was against the peace of the country. But at the end of the day, we saw people being dragged. We saw people being arrested violently. We saw people that didn't resist arrest that were being arrested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think we should really take a cue from that. Let's use water to disperse them and tear gas, even though, like Don Jazzy said, it's still against because we have the right to association we have the rights to gathering we have the right to protest against what we want mm. Mm. okay talking about the law of karma or not like i don't even know where i stand on that thing because i there's something called grace sometimes and mm. your grace is mm. some people's grace is just <laughs> is above karma. That, even when they shoot, karma can't even you know, hear so, them. But with that is the case of when we're talking about nigeria's problem and then we say let's go and pray and then when we are trying to tell the police people to stop doing stuff, and you tell them, oh, remember love, come on. It's not like, it is just not um, very productive for me. Like, Should we wait need for to come, understand, to come and deal with them? You know, they need to understand that they shouldn't even do this at first. So we to still go back to the information that we've been shouting all the while. Mm. And we hope that one day, and I, I really hope, that uh, one day we'll get to that point where I can actually see a policeman on the road and be interested in having a conversation, conversation yeah. with a police officer. Not that I will see one on this side and then and I cross like, to the other please side. Please right? can you move? So I'm hoping that one day we'll get to that point. But of course, I understand. You the tell a policeman, please can you move? No, I'm like, if you're driving, if a policeman is there, you just be like, please, can we just move or go the other way? Because mm. you don't want their trouble. Yeah. yeah. All right, moving oh. on. We still have Don Jazzy in the news. He says the entertainment industry has been a place of escape for Nigerian youth. In his tweet, he said, and I quote again, the Nigerian entertainment industry, fairly nascent, has um, been able to serve as an escape for Nigerians. In grief and turmoil, it often serves as respite. We are all one, we are one hell of a tolerant bunch, but what is our breaking point? Mm. Uh, I think um, Don Jazzy is in the mood to be philosophical <laughs> this period. <laughs> but I mean, I, I get his point. Most times we really do fall back on um, entertainment and mm. music, comedy especially, because uh, we've had comedians that come out to say they, they are comedy. Um, I mean, recently, I think Bovi got a DM of oh, a lady yeah. who was um, about to commit suicide and, and watched one way or the other, she, and... she stumbled on his page, mm. started watching videos. I think his YouTube page mm. and... Um, um, she was able to. She actually came online right? to yeah. say a final bye bye. Yeah, and, and that was how it happened. Link. So, I mean, 
the craft or the talent of um, um, Bovi was able to save one life. And I think so many people are being saved by some of these things we see online. I would think it's just a joke or people are just being funny. But it, it brings joy into our life one way or the other, right? And I mean, Don Jazzy is right. That's all I have to say right now. Mm. And talking about tolerance, I think that Nigeria is one of the country that we are men, let me just say generally, even women, we, are, we have this very thick skin. Um, thick skin mm -hmm. Because people don't let their um, past define them. They don't blame their actions on maybe, okay, because I had this um, terrible upbringing, I'm going to pass it all on other people by killing people or by mm. raping them or all of that. I mean, Nigerian men, they allow their past be their past. And when they are grown, they even try to help other people mm, just so they will yeah, to break them. Um, at least we blame the government, them. even though we don't sit down around to, <laughs> for them to come around and take their blame. But yeah, we keep blaming them. I'm talking about <laughs> entertainment. I mean, entertainment is just like a run to for any, most people, mm. when they are like depressed or they have, they are going through anything. You just want to cool up. You just want to talk about it. Like, uh, like you just want to listen to somebody's song and you feel better. And even people that don't have anything doing, I mean, we have a lot of young boys out there, even though they are not A-list artists, but they are doing that music and it's we keeping them busy. Mm. Instead of them being on the street just roaming about, if it's that music, they are there. And we have a lot of people, young boys and girls have started this um, Instagram comedy thing and they are now, they are something today. Mm. So I feel like Don Jazzy is right on that note too. I think you're trying to sing that for last song. That's something I'm swimming to. <laughs> Can you sing it again? No! Please, Let me disgrace myself twice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think there's a case of um, suffering and smiling mm. because no matter what we go through in this country, like you said, we're one of those people that we, we still pull through. Mm. Like everyone knows how it is to not have electricity. You don't have um, this thing to iron your clothes. But you will sit down inside your car, and rest your back where we so that the shirt can. Oh, you probably <laughs> wear your clothes under your bed <laughs> and sleep. Have, you know, <laughs> and they sleep. You know, mm. we know how to suffer and smile. Oh, wow. This part of the day. Why not go local? Like get a local iron and put your charcoal in it. Oh, <laughs> is that what you do? <laughs> okay, now Some we Some people can't even afford that local iron. I don't wonder your shirt is looking. You know. Like your gun is looking. We're creative. That's what we do. We're Nigerians. We're creative people. Mm. Or you get mm. one bad iron and mm -hmm. it on Put your, it gas. your gas cooker. When it's hot. Yeah, just clean gas. it. Oh. Anything. Mm. Stop. You can't use anything. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to eat. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. Um, mm. I think um, this um, Nigeria is one of the country that we persevere no mm. matter what goes down. Mm. No matter how it goes down, life goes on. Mm. That's the philosophy we live by in this part of the world. I'm not saying it's a bad trait, but I'm not going to say it's a good trait either. Mm. Because I think at some point, which is what Don Jazzy acts like, where is our Where's breaking point? point? Mm. Where do we break? Where do we there. lose it? Yeah, we're getting Where there. do we fight for our rights? Mm. Where do we actually stand up for what belongs to us? Because at the end of the day, that's what we all need to do as individuals. Mm. But we have not gotten to that breaking point. The water is still boiling. That mm. mama boil, that mama <laughs> Do you understand? And um, oh, I need <laughs> I'm just trying to. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Oh, <laughs> duro. Shoot, duro. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I think um, we just need to focus on what we need to do at mm. the moment. Mm. We'll keep back going to the government. We'll keep back going to people in power. We'll keep back going to um, everyone that can change our lives. But if you don't do it, we'll do it for ourselves at one point or the other. Mm, we're doing it. already is, doing it. America <laughs> is built on blood, sweat, and tears. And um, they're about 200 and something years old, right? Am mm -hmm. I correct? Mm -hmm. Right. So, and Nigeria is just about, we're just going to be 59, October mm. 1st, right? So, um, we still have a long way to go. So, we're still going to get to that breaking point. So, don't jazz it, relax. You might not be alive to see the breaking points. I may not be alive to see the breaking point. But there will be a breaking point. There will be a breakthrough in this part of the world. And it's already happening, whether we like it or not. Mm. Whether we agree or not. I think we, we all agree that slowly, is already happening yeah slowly but sure room was not built in a day slowly but sure all right slowly but sure i'm sure boo boo can hear you <laughs> <Who's> <laughs> boo -boo? Boo -boo, you don't know who boo boo is ah president boy <laughs> 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 
Hi, <laughs> London. Why do you like calling him with your mouth? Just call him Bubu and let's go. He knows, he knows his name. He knows his nickname. Where is he? Is he in London or America or in Congo? You know, he's always traveling. Wherever he is, he has the best interest of Nigerians at heart. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's how we wrap up this episode <laughs> of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch on on this episode and all our exclusive content. My thank you, as always, to go to my co-anchors, Ewa Uritu and Ife Oluwa Shoke, and the entire production team. Also, don't forget, you can watch Tea Time in London on Bear Television. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.